What's up everybody, welcome back to Pens and Tea, my name is Carrie, and today you've already read the title so you know exactly what I'm talking about. I am talking about yet another deliciously smelling fountain pen. <laughs> And that is the Noodler's Triple Tail. Uh, so I have tried many a day uh, Noodler pens in my day. Um, I've tried the Ahab, I've tried the Conrad, uh, I've tried both Flex Nib, the Stiff Nib that you can buy. Um, I've tried a whole bunch. I've even tried the Nib Creeper, although I never ended up reviewing that one because it kind of fell apart on me and I just never bothered replacing it. Um, and it has been a hot minute since I've tried a Noodler's pen. It's been a very long time. I don't even think I've used a Noodler's pen in probably like two or three years. Um, that's a lie. I had the Boston safety pen. I forgot about that because it's so different from anything else. So that's a lie. <laughs> um, that's right. I did the Boston safety pen. Um, so, but I mean, I haven't done a flex Noodler's pen in a very long time. Uh, and the reason why I did it, uh, is because I saw, um, Aiden, I'm going to mispronounce your last name, but Aiden Bernal, I think is his last name. I'll put a, a link in the in the description below. Um, I've been watching his channel for about a year now, uh, and his Instagram is blowing up. He does all the, the flexy, swirly, beautiful, bellissimos um, that you can really go over uh, and enjoy. Um, so I've been watching his. He has a Noodler's Triple Tail. He has a special edition that was at a pen show that's blue. Um, you can only buy this uh, at, in most retailers, which is just the demo version. Um, so I was like, well, why not? So I picked it up a while ago. Like I want to say early January. This is, I think this is one of the things that I purchased uh, in and around my birthday. Um, I'm sure if you go watch some of my unboxings, you'll see me. Uh, see me unbox it. But I think I bought it my birthday. Uh, it is now like the end of March. <laughs> so I've been using it for a few months um, and I quite liked it. Now I've had poor experiences with Noodlers, mixed reviews with Noodlers. Pretty much love all their inks that I've tried with the exception of a few here and there. Um, but their pens have never really captured me. Uh, and by there, I just mean Nathan Tardif. I don't know why I said their pens, his pens. He is the company pretty much. Um, so it's just never done it for me. Um, the Ahab, I enjoyed to an extent. Uh, the Ahab was sort of one of those, like when it was working, it was great and I loved it, but it didn't always work. And that irritated me. <laughs> Um, the Conrad was a very, very similar. So while it looked better to, in like my opinion, than the Ahab did, this is very similar um, in in style to the Ahab. Cigar pen, pretty chunky, um, very light. Uh, the Conrad was a piston filler versus like this little converter guy that like you basically just push this down and you suck ink up. Um, so a little bit of differences, but for the most part, it wrote the same way. Um, and so I didn't really have the greatest experiences with them. So I went into this with sort of that similar vein of it'll probably be great, but meh, you know, um, I was expecting it to railroad a lot. Spoiler, it does not. Um, and I was expecting it to have a lot of hard starts, uh, which it can if I haven't used it in a few days. Uh, but while you're doing, like while you're writing, it doesn't. Um, so I don't think it's sealed super, super well um, compared to other fountain pens for that reason, but it, it doesn't hard start while you're actually using it. It's just if it's been like, you know, left aside for a couple days. Um, and I also went in with the decision to put a ink in here that I knew was on the wetter side. Uh, again, hoping to give some advantage to that ebonite feed um, to try <laughs> and get the best experience out of it I can. So in here, I have Pilot Iroshizuku Sukiyo, uh, which is also my favorite ink to put in my um, Pilot Custom 912. Let me grab that for you. Uh, which is the Falcon nib, uh, and I do have the custom Ebonite feed. Um, a lot of people have a love or hate relationship with this pen in particular. I love it um, because I have that Ebonite feed, which just makes all the difference. Uh, and I do purposefully put, again, wetter writing inks in here. 
um, so that I get the best experience possible. Now, can you flex as far as this one uh, with like this one as you can with, with noodlers? No. This is also the number 10 size nib, whereas if you do decide to pay the extra premium for like a custom 823, for example, with the Falcon nib on this, then you get a 15, uh, size 15, pilot size 15 nib, uh, which is apparently better and easier. Uh, I would love to test it, but I don't wanna have to buy a whole new pen just for that nib. So who knows? Uh, but I went into this with trepidation. <laughs> I went into it with trepidation because again, even with this pen, I've heard kind of mixed things. Um, so before we get into the writing sample, which spoiler goes pretty well for me, uh, just the basic parts of the pen. It's a cigar shaped pen, nothing really fancy. Uh, Nathan Tardif is not a fancy man. Um, so I wouldn't expect anything less. So a cigar shaped pen, pretty chunky. Um, you know, like if I pop it next to like a platinum 3776, it's definitely a lot taller uh, and chunkier. And then if I compare it to like a Pilot Metropolitan, again, taller, much chunkier. Uh, so it's not for dainty hands, I'll say that much. The clip, like always, pretty much a waste of time. Uh, <laughs> nothing to it. It's not gonna hold on to Jack. <laughs> but it's basically just a roll stop. Um, and then of course you have the steel nib, which you'll see better in the close up. The grip section is really nice. It's a pretty deep hourglass, which I like a lot. Uh, it sits very nice in my hand. It's an extremely light pen. And yes, it does have that noodler smell. I happen to really like that smell. I know, I know I'm weird. Most people don't, but I happen to. <laughs> I think it smells great. Uh, you can indeed post it. Uh, it becomes a little back weighted and a little long for me, um, but if you've got really big hands, I feel like you, you would probably want to um, because it is so light. Uh, you do unscrew to get to the included converter. Um, this is actually almost out of ink now that I look at it. Yeah, I'm basically out of ink. <laughs> Oops. Um, this will be the third time now that I fill this up. Uh, but you have the inner threads here that go onto the inner section of the body. You can, if you want to, uh, fill this up and eyedropper convert the entire thing. Uh, and on the body itself, it does have the words triple tail, which again, I'll show you in closer detail. Triple tail and Noodler's ink engraved on it. Um, and then to fill this, you would just submerge it in your bottle of ink, push this all the way down, and then when you pull it up, it sucks the ink right up. It goes, um. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Uh, so you just screw that back in, and you screw this back in too. So that's it, this, there's nothing to it. There's no frills, there's no nothing. It's all about the way that it writes. So let's flip it around and check it out. All right, once again, we have the Galen Leather Everyday Book. Uh, this is basically just a Tomoe River notebook. Just letting you know what kind of paper I'm writing in here. Uh, this notebook is almost done. I am very quickly running out of paper. <laughs> I think so. Um, so really quickly, uh, no pressure, noodlers, let me focus again, hang on, there we go. Triple tail, pilot, Euro Shizuku. <laughs> wow, I cannot spell. Uh, Suki, yo. Apparently I cannot look into the camera and write at the same time. Uh, so I am not a good flex writer, um, so just bear with me. No, that's not a good R. <laughs> A 
well, that's basically all you're going to get out of me. <laughs> um, so you can definitely see that you get a ton of flex. So, I mean, the regular line, oh, there you go, it railroaded a little bit. Uh, the regular line is still pretty thick. Um, so let me actually grab a, what nib size is this? I think this is a fine. Oh, I got ink on my hand. Uh, this is a Caveco Sport Fine. And that is the line difference. So you're still starting with the baseline of like abroad here, but you're gonna go to like triple or quadruple broad. <laughs> um, it's super, super beefy. So Caveco Fine, Noodlers, no pressure. And it railroads. Of course it does, but I am almost out of ink as you saw. Um, it, it does do that, especially if I go fast, like ra it railroads. Um, but as you saw with this whole thing here, it doesn't railroad if you do write slower. Um, but if you go like super fast, then yeah, like you're screwed. It's, it's not perfect. Um, and I have had it where, um, like if I'm pushing down and then I push a little too far, which I'm doing right now, it breaks on that third Time. And that's the whole point of this triple tail is that there's three, well, there's two slits in the nib creating three separate writing points. And it's always that third time. So the second, well, the second time, but like the um, third metal piece on the right, uh, that's the one that breaks for me. Um, but I will say I'm, I'm very pleased. This writes perfectly I would say like 95% of the time which for a Noodler's Flex Pen is pretty darn good. Um, as far as the pen quality it, it's very smooth. It's very very smooth. Um, if you reverse write you can definitely do that no problem. Um, don't press too hard but you know you can definitely get some extra goodies out of it. Um, so I like that quite a bit. Oh, that was not a hard start. That was a misaligned uh, <laughs> for me because I'm looking in the camera. Um, it's very, 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 very wet, <laughs> which is why I'm not smearing anything uh, because I already smeared some on this side, which is now all over my sleeve, uh, which is fun. Uh, so for like for what I was expecting out of this pen, uh, I would give this a solid 8.5 out of 10. Almost a 9 out of 10. I would feel like if it would not railroad a little bit, uh, then it would be a solid 9 out of 10. Now, this is not a looker of a fountain pen. I'll, I'll, I'll say that much. There's, there's nothing to look at. Like, there's just really nothing. <laughs> um, it, you know, it's not beautiful. It's not going to win any beautiful awards. But... It does what it's supposed to and that ultimately at the end of the day that's the whole point of it um, so it is more expensive than the noodlers ahab and conrad um, but i have much more positive things to say about this pen than i do those others uh, you can watch those reviews that i have done um, but they're very old <laughs> uh, but feel free so would i recommend the noodlers triple tail uh, yes, I would. If you're looking for something to play around with, this is not an everyday writer for me. Um, but if you're looking for some fun and a little bit of, uh, you know, amusement uh, and you've got the money to spare, then yeah, for sure. Go for it. Um, I would say have a great time. Just know that you could have to put some work into like heat setting the nib and all that kind of stuff. Um, I thankfully did not have to with this pen but it is something that you may have to do. So, have you ever used a Noodler's Triple Tail, Ahab, anything like that? Let me know in the comments section down below. Uh, in the description, like I said, check out Aiden's channel. Um, he's pretty awesome. I've been watching his stuff for a while. Uh, check out my Discord, my Patreon, my Instagram, all of the good stuff. Hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you want more. New videos come out every Monday and Friday and random stuff on Tuesday. 
And if you're still watching this far in, gosh darn it, you are the reason I make these videos. I appreciate you, and I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, my beautiful patrons, thank you all for your support. If you have recently supported me uh, as a VIP patron or above, uh, and don't see your name, don't fear. This was recorded February 26th, so it will be there as soon as I can get it updated. So we have our ultimate human is Daniel Roddy. And for my VIP fans, we've got Elizabeth, Glenn Kelly, Joan Worthman, Brian Hunter, Aaron C., Luna Wolf Games, Bobby A. Bailey, Stuart Riley, Ute Cruiser, Victor Portugal, Bass, Weili Chang, Brian La, Lucas Bell, Aubrey Madcore, Marissa Calvo, Eric Lineman, Jessica Chow, Stephen Baldwin, Carol Lowry, Michael Simon, Sean Sturdy, Susan Barrier, Catherine Molina, Robert Myers, Bianca Andrews, Bill Pemberton, Jennifer Galfi, Karen Epstein, Lucy Peralta, Gretchen Peters, and DigitalTent.Tech. Uh, for those who are not VIP tier or above, it does not matter. I still appreciate that you're here uh, and that you make all of the difference. I appreciate you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye.